if one synchronized swimmer drowns, do the rest have to? Hey everybody, how's it going? Chris D'Amico, weekend edition of Band and Bama. How's it going? Really long episode last time. Thank you guys for sticking it out, those that you did. Um, YouTube viewers, I'm really, really sorry. Uh, they didn't let me post it because it was over 10 minutes. So, for those of you YouTubers who are watching me, uh, check out bandedbama.com. There's actually a blog attached to this as well. And there's some fun stuff on there too. So, we're going to talk about the beer once again. Dogfish Head's going to rock my world. And I'm probably not going to be able to say, oh yeah, try this. We're still going to do it because it's going to be awesome. Alrighty. Um, no news recently. Um, the two bills I talked about are still, you know, I think we're going to be kind of like quiet for a little while while there's a little background dealing and some talking and some whispering going on. I'll keep you posted um, as soon as I hear anything. If you haven't called your legislator, your representative, Alabama, get on it. Get on the stick, please. Um, really, the only reason that it made, out, made it out of the Senate, uh, Mac McCutcheon, the sponsor of the bill, said was that people got called about it. That's a good thing. That means that it's working. So let's make it work again. Get it out of the house and actually get it legal in Alabama. Sweet. Okay, so we have Dogfish Head's Chateau Jihau. I don't know, it's Chinese, I'm not very good at that, my Mandarin is terrible. Um, I'll give you a little look, and we're going to talk a lot about this beer, just because it's so odd. There we go, I'm about to follow the table here, okay? So, this is, a, this is one of Dollfish's um, attempts at making an ancient beer. They say that it is the 9,000 year old, um, it's a 9,000 year old beer, and it's the most ancient, chemically attested alcoholic beverage in the world. I mean, that is pretty awesome. Why? Why is it chemically attested? Well, no, I can tell you that because I have it on my note card. Um, they actually got a molecular archaeologist to find, to, they found some stuff in Jihau, which is in China, in northern China, Yunnan province, and um, there was some residue left in some pots. So they got a molecular archaeologist to kind of figure out what it was, dogfish did, and then they brewed it. I mean, they didn't brew the stuff, but they kind of like figured out a recipe based on what they found and then brewed it. Really crazy. Um, it has rice, barley, honey, grapes, and hawthorn fruit in it. Um, that doesn't sound like a beer, but it is actually a fermented beverage. So um, they made the beer, like they made it like beer with the rice and the barley. They mashed it, uh, got wort out of it. And then they boiled the wort for 45 minutes, and during that boil, they added the honey, the grapes, and the, um, I'm sorry, the hawthorn fruit and chrysanthemum. I guess that was, they, it was what they had at the time. Um, they cooled it, and then they pitched sake yeast. So this is a, this is a whole different animal, I think. One thing you'll notice, no hops. Um, 10 IBUs, probably from the chrysanthemum. I don't know if you're supposed to eat those or not, but I... They got eaten one before and they're kind of bitter. So, I'm really excited to get into this. Um, let's just do that then. Hmm. Interesting. Um, it's got a, oh wow. Um, eh, kind of a, an off-white head, it's going to go away really quickly. Um, nice deep gold color, it's really pretty. Um, some bubbles on the side of the glass, I would imagine it's got a little carbonation on it. Um, honey, um, almost a little apple, like a little, a little red delicious apple. Some toothpaste, the crest um, toothpaste, and a little bit of uh, a little bit of malt in there as well. Really interesting nose. Like the crest toothpaste would probably be like minty, I guess. 
Yeah. Good taste. So honey, um, absolutely present. Um, a little bit of sweet malt, like some pills malt maybe. Um, a little bit of bubble gummy kind of banana, but it's very low and it starts at the beginning and it, and it goes away very quickly. Um, alcohol burn on the end. Um, just a very, very, very slight amount. A little grapey alcohol in this, probably from the grapes. Or maybe from the sake yeast, uh, I'm not too sure. Really crazy beer. Um, I figured it would have less body than it did because of all the rice, or because of the rice. Um, but it holds up really well. Um, a moderate low mouthfeel, moderate low body on the mouthfeel. Um, moderate low carbonation as well. Very, very sweet beer, so I guess that um, the sake yeast really couldn't eat a lot of the sugars and they stuck around, maybe from the I don't know, the Hawthorne fruit, which is a bush. I looked that up, and it's a bush that has little red um, berries that look like grapes when they're done ripening. People make jellies and jams out of them. I don't know what they taste like because I couldn't find that. Um, man, now I'm on the spot because I think I might be able to place this. I would say, since this is Bama Bama and you can't find it, and it's not really a beer, I would, I'm going to go with something in the line of wheat beer, um, because it would be really, you know, lowly hopped, and maybe even a blonde. Okay, let's just roll with this. UFO Heavy Bison. It's not really a heavy bison, it's an American wheat beer. And um, it'll give you that kind of that same mouthfeel and that same like sweet taste. I don't know how I feel about that, but that's what jumps into my head right now. So check that out. I'm completely flummoxed here. I feel like I've let you guys down, but I I think I did better than nothing. So um, right on. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, Leave some comments, do some stuff, do some, uh, do some action. I'm gonna try to get this in at under 10 minutes so you YouTubers can watch it. Once again, bandinbama.com. For those of you who've never been to the site, stop in and say hello. Um, other than that, that's all I got. So from an undisclosed location in the Chattahoochee River Basin, I'm Chris D'Amico and this is Bandinbama. Cheers.